good morning everyone good morning good morning sir Welcome. Okay, what were we discussing in the last class? I think we are discussing about the linear search. Uh, so one of the application of R is so searching and sorting. We are discussing what is the searching. For example, there are a number of elements. We want to search for a given element, a uh, given value in the List of array, we are going for searching. So, where the application of searching is used, if at all, um, uh, there are a number of files. So, if you want to search for a particular file in the uh, program or file in the disk, how to search for that? So, how the uh, uh, searching algorithm goes on. This is one of the algorithms. So, well, we say it is an algorithm to search for a given element. Okay, so we have a two types of algorithm or two types of searching techniques. One is linear search, another one is binary search. So linear search is a sequential search. Linear search is called a sequential search. It's another name for a linear search is sequential search. So how you're going to search sequentially one by one, for example, which element you want to find, what the element you want to find in the list, you go on, compare each element, compare each element in the list and you're going to a search for a particular value. So that is like, if at all the particular value is found, we say the element is found at a given uh, location, that a given position or a given index. You can print an index value or you can print a position. So what is the difference between index? So index is the value which is uh, equal to the uh, array value, array index value. So that is index value we're going to print or else we are going to print a position. So position is like how you count your uh, places, one, two, three, four, five, like that. Your position starts with one and your index starts with a zero. So that's the difference. Okay. So if the number is found, what is the value is found to be uh, like searched, to be searched, it is found. So we say it is found at a particular location or else it is not found. We say the number is, the value is not found. This is called as a linear search. The best example of a linear search is, for example, um, if we want to. We are uh, class uh, uh, if you want, like, for example, your mother is uh, kept. Sir, uh, Govardhan sir is taking class first ever. So that's the reason. Sorry. Uh, if your mother is uh, done some snacks in. Uh, snacks and kept in the kitchen in the some boxes uh, they are in the they are in the boxes but you don't know in which box it is there how you are going to search how you are going to do how you are going to search for your snack you each open each and every uh, every uh, box and check whether the snack is present or not like that sequentially first first you open it up. If, if at all the uh, all the boxes are kept in the rack you open first box, whether it is there in this box, no. Next box, open that box, whether it's there in that box, no. Like that, uh, what are the element you want to search? You you, have, you are comparing each element in the, uh, in the uh, what are the elements we have? And if the element which you want is found, we say element is found. The, if the element is not found, like we say it is there not found, the same way, uh, like uh, as I said, the snack, if you want to find a snack where the mother kept in the kitchen, you open each and every box, whether it is there in this box or not. And sequentially open it and check for the snack is present in that a particular box. The same way, here is the same logic we are going to apply. And we are going to compare each and each and every element sequentially. That means one by one. So first, if you, uh, we'll start with the first element, whether the first element is equal to the searching element. What is the searching element you want? Yes, I'm not sharing the, uh, I'm not sharing this uh, screen. Yes, I'm explaining the words. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll share my screen.
So, these are the values you have taken. Like for example, uh, they are not in sequential order. You can take in any order, IL sequence, any sequential order. So, that is a value. So, okay. for example, uh, 50 and 40, uh, 35, 20, uh, like next uh, 70, uh, 8, uh, 85, and 60. So these are the values which are there. You want to search for a particular element. Uh, for example, you want to search for a six, uh, sorry, not to the last 85. You want to search for 85. You want to search for 85. How are you going to do that? So take the searching element, store in some any other variable, S and compare this element, whether both are equal. If both are equal, it say it's the element is found. That is a doing way goes. Next, if it is not found, it is not equal, and go and check. I put question. Zoom class in order to type, put it in a little bit, photos at a bit, call it. Photos, so go. Mute channel, mute channel, ever someone is there. Okay, so. Now I'm comparing S with uh, 50, that is like uh, the element with 50, that is, this is A of zero, this A of one, and A of two, A of three, and A of four, and A of five, A of six. These are the elements in my array. So I'm going to check S with a comparing whether S is equal to the A of zero. If it is zero, if it is equal, I'll say, okay, I found the element and I'll break out the loop. It is not, I'll increment the, uh, I'll increment and search for other element. If, the, if this is equal, S equal to equal to A of one, no, no, it is not equal. No, I, I'll increment the uh, loop. And if, if this is equal, no, next, I'll search for this next element. And I sequentially, I'll search for sequentially one by one element, I'll search for the given element in an array. So these are equal, no, S is equal to equal to A of three, no. S is equal to equal to F4, no. S is equal to equal to F5, yes. Both are equal. S equal to equal to F5. This is equal. So I'll break the blue. I'll not continue to, uh, like, because I found the element which is to be uh, there. I want which element to be one. So I found. So I no need to search for the remaining elements. So I'll stop my uh, looping here. I'll stop my looping here. I'll break out my loop and I'll say which where the particular element I found. So where if I'm breaking out, if I'm breaking out the loop, so high value will be there in the same index I've there. I've, I've got the element. Therefore, I'll be printing out the high value if I want to print the index. Or else if I want to print a position, I'll print with high value only, but I'll plus, I'll write I plus one. This is the logic I'm going to do. So that is. I'm going to search for each and every element that is from zero to the n. Zero to the n. So and to n, what is the size of array? And i plus plus. And I'm going to compare each element. That is, if y of pi are equal to equal to the what is the searching element I want? The element is found. Element is found. Element to be found. Found under the, this is equal. If this is equal, I'll say it is found. And I'll say printf. Printf. Element is found at position. Ever non unmute chain, Someone is Ketan. Okay. Position element found at the position percentile D. That is, I'm printing the position. Therefore, I plus one and a break. Because I found the element, no need to increment the loop again. Next. So break done. So this is on the element. But if it is like if the element is not found, what happens? Element is not found. What happens? High value goes here. Goes to where? Here. It increments. If it has, I'm checking the element which is there, for example, um, I want to find uh, 90. So I, I'm checking with this element, this element, this element, no. This element, no. It is not equal. This element, no. 
Now, I don't have any other element, therefore loop will be break out. But where I value becomes, what does I value become? I value becomes equal to n. For example, this I, n value is 7, n value is 7. Now it is 6. First we'll check with the 6. 6 is less than 7 as we are going to check the 6. A of 6 is equal to, A of 6 equal to equal to, what is the S value I want for 9? So 60 equal to equal to 90. Is that equal? No, it is not equal. And we, we come out of the block. Which block? If block. If block. So next, we go again, increment the value. That is, I value becomes a 7. 7 less than 7. Yes, it is false. Now it is false. We come out of the block. So when I come out of the block, what is I value be? It is equal to n. So check what? After coming out, check with I. I is equal to equal to n. Then say print up. Element is not found. This is another way. So, which is which I've told in the last uh, yesterday is also same, but instead of that, instead of printing here only, we have updated a flag variable equal to one. So, first where we have done flag equal to flag equal to zero and flag updated flag value to one. And if the if at all if flag equal to equal to one, we say element is formed and else element is not formed. You can do this way or you can do this way. So anything is uh, correct. And as I said, another way is like uh, in the reverse uh, reverse logic. What is the reverse logic? And start I value with a zero and while uh, A of I is not equal to, is not equal to S and, and I less than n uh, I plus plus. This is also you can do it. Right question that after coming out, you check whether what is that if uh, if I equal to equal to n element is not found, else element will be found. Some element is found at I. Okay, so this is another way to do. It. So you can do both ways. But the logic itself is, what is the logic of sequential search? We are going to search each element in the, uh, well, that is, uh, in the loop, uh, sorry, in the array. And we are going to check, compare each element and whether we found a particular element at the position, we are going to print the position. And if it, the position is not found, the like position is not found, we say the element is not found. The element is not found, we say the element is not found. This is a sequential search. Call linear search is also called a sequential search. Linear search or sequential search. Sequential search. This is a one of the way of searching elements. Okay, understood? Everyone, any doubts here yes. in this in this uh, linear search? Okay, <clears throat> so um, I'm going forward to the binary search. The next searching technique is called as binary search. For example, in sequential search, that is in a linear search or sequential search, sequential search, uh, sequential search, there are a thousand elements thousand elements and the element I want to find element that I want to find is at the triple ninth location. How many comparisons I need? How many comparisons? Nine, nine, I need? Nine, 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 nine. Comparisons I need. So triple nine comparisons I need to search for a, a given element in the sequence search to make out that to be number of uh, like we cut down into the less number of comparisons, and we are going for the binary search. But binary search is one of the best, one of the best. I'm, I'm not saying best. It is one of the best searching algorithm to search for a given element. So what is the logic? It is goes on the binary search is binary search is binary is dividing into dividing. Into. For example, for example, you have a, a, a phone dictionary so that is phone. Uh, Phone dictionary, there is phone, uh, phone numbers are there in the phone. You have you have written all the phone numbers in the uh, number in the sequential order. Let's say it is from one uh, 
2000 something starting with the 2000 starting with 2000 you have written numbers up to 3000 like that and you don't know you don't know like in which order like they are in the order but you don't have an page numbers where it has been written so you cannot open the directly to particular particular page number that means you are, you didn't write index for particular index value index value where the particular value is there so index unta directly you can go over to open the page but there are not there for example i want to search for i want to search for for example uh, 3000 not 3000 Uh, 2785. 2785. So let's make this is simple. So uh, in the in the owner of the bulb. So let's take there are uh, L, uh, same the numbers are in the one to thousand. Let's take there are in the thousand in order of one to thousand. And you want to search for uh, give, uh, an element called three fifty five. Three fifty five in the thousand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this into Two this two two blocks, one block and another block. So what is that? I'm dividing one to five hundred. And five out one to thousand. Now, if I'm dividing this into two, where the three thirty five will be there? Where the three thirty five will be there? In this will it will be there or in this it will be there? In the first one. In the first one, you know, directly comparing this. Again, divide this into again two parts. One to two for two fifty, and two fifty one to five hundred. Now tell me, in which it will be there three fifty five? In which this will be there and this will be there. Second one. Second one. In the second one, two fifty one. Uh, now this will be there. So next, I am dividing into. Uh, 255. Uh, this is 500. No, 500. Again, this is 251. Two, uh, 251 plus 125. How much? Six. Uh, five plus seven. Two one three. Three seventy six and three seventy three seventy five and three seventy six two and five hundred. Now tell me where this uh, this number will be there. Uh, what is the number i want to 355 where the 355 will be there here in this side so that means what i'm doing is i'm dividing every time 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 so like that if at all there are uh, uh, 355 these elements are in the sequential order 1 to 1000 if i go with the sequential search how many number of searches i need 355 searches i need 355 because i need to search each and every element But here, how many searches? I'll 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 compare these elements here with this. Uh, whether I I'll go to this side or I, I should be going this side. One comparison is done. Next year, two. Next year, three. Next year, it will become four. Fourth comparison or fifth comparison, I'm going to get the element. That means see how many number of comparisons decreased. The comparison decreased to three fifty five to five comparisons. At most, at most five to seven comparisons it will take. So what is the what is this comparison? What is the difference between three fifty five and what is the difference between seven? So it is very, 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 very uh, easy search. Very, very number of very number of very number, less number of comparisons. Very less number of comparisons. Therefore, the binary search. What is the binary search motto is? Uh, the given elements will be divided into two. First, it will be divided into two parts. And we'll check, we'll check, and whether the element is which side. So it is less than which side or less than. And remember, first and first thing is all the elements should be in the sorted order. Sorted order. If the all the elements in the sorted order, first you make the elements. What is the searching? What are the all the elements? The sorted order, and you divide into two parts. And which element to be searched? Which element to be searched? We are going to check whether whether it is less than the uh, what is the element we have divided this side, which is that which side it is there or this side it is there. Again, if it is there inside, I am going to divide this again to two parts and go on compare, go on compare each each time and divide it. If this is this side or left side or right side, 
So this is the thing I'm going to do. So that is binary divide by two, divide by two, divide, divide, divide. So they are dividing this in the recursively. So dividing and searching, dividing and searching, dividing and searching, dividing and searching. But this is a logic behind, motto behind, and I'm, I'll be detailly, I'll explain what is the logic, how it will be going on. But what is the uh, logic behind this uh, uh, binary search is, we are going to divide the given number. First, we are going to sort them into order Sir. in the increasing order. We are going to sort them into increasing order and we are going to divide by two and search for a given element and divide it by two and search by, divide the, uh, so divide by two parts for a given number of elements and search for a given element, which is there. So this is the thing we are going to do. And I'll explain detail how the logic will go. So this is the mode actually. Divide, division is a mode. But We'll exp I'll explain detail how it will be there. So any doubts? Someone is uh, trying it's to called a binary them. tree. No, it is not called a binary tree. So it is binary search. The binary tree is uh, it is like uh, two uh, two parts. It may be in this uh, like uh, uh, where where it can say for example there are five, three, four, two, five, two, and uh, this fifteen. I'm going to divide just. I'm going to divide five. There is they are not in the order. They are not in the order. Oh. Binary, it is not. We are going to do this is part, this separate part. This is part. Okay. So just that is a binary. So binary tree means it's having a two true branches. It is having only two branches. But whether it is in the sorted order or not, it is not. But it where we have in this binary tree, we have binary search tree also. So where binary search tree is an order tree. That is an order tree. So same logic we are going to use in the binary binary search. Okay, binary search tree is the one of the part of binary tree we are going to discuss. We are going to discuss detail in the uh, this, uh, data structures. You have a subject of data structures in the next semester, so you'll be discussing about these all the data structures. So, but now Sir, this does this binary, binary search only work for uh, numbers which are sorted order? Sorted order. Remember, first, first condition is the element should be in the sorted order. Must should be, it must be in sorted order. If they are not in the sorted order, you have to sort. You have to sort in the sort. Uh, you have to sort in them into increasing order, or decreasing order, and divide that. Divide that uh, list into two parts. Okay. Sir, how to find the index of an element in an array? I didn't get you. Index directly where index means 0, 2, n minus 1. Which index we are you're calling you? You're going to sequentially track out each index. You have to go and sequentially track out. Like each when we need to use a for loop to the, the denote index, we need like continuous uh, increment now, sir. But oh. here we. Uh, are uh, like not going in order. Uh, uh, if, uh, I'll explain the logic, total logic explanation. Logic explanation you, you'll understand how it will be there. Now, now I'll explain now. This is only just a motto. I, I've told you what is the motto behind the binary search. I didn't explain the total the binary search logic. I'll explain the binary search logic, how it will be there. Just I will explain only a mode of what is going behind the binary search. Okay. So, uh, the down one is. Uh, your indexes like index values and i'm entering the values and they should be in the sorted order so for example i'm taking directly value 10 20 30 40 50 60 and 70 i'm taking the sorted order only so okay so directly so if, it, if they are not in the sorted order we have to sort it into order first okay here what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide the list divide the list into two equal parts not two equal parts, two parts. I'm going to divide two parts. To divide two parts. Sir, what if know. there are odd number of terms? 
I'll tell you. Uh, I'll tell you. Uh, mid. So I'm going to find the mid elements. I'm going to find the mid element, which is a mid element, mid, mid, middle element, and I'm going to divide that into two parts. How to find the middle element? I'm going to take a, a, two variables called low and high, or else start and end. You either one is possible, low or high, or a start or end. You can take any any. I am taking the low. Low means this. It, the low will be uh, indexing your uh, first index, so it will be indicating the first index, the starting index, and the high will be indicating the uh, your last index. Low and high, low and high. So now I am going to find the middle index, middle index by using low plus high by low plus. Hi by two. So what is now here? Low plus i by two, zero plus six by two. So zero plus six by two. It is three. Three. Yes, it is three. So now it is three. So now which is the middle element? This is the middle element. The element it is is the index middle index is this. Now what I'm going to divide is how I'm going to divide is I'm going to divide uh, the parts into. First step. Instead of instead of dividing first directly, I'm dividing. I'll check directly with the first middle element. I'll compare the given element S. What is the searching element? Whether it is equal to equal to A of mid. What are you typing? That too. Okay. So whether S equal to equal to A of mid is equal. What is the element you want to find? For example, I want to find the element is sixty. Now. For uh, timing, s equal to sixty. Okay, s equal to equal to sixty. So the sixty equal to equal to forty. Is that equal? No, it is not. Equal. If it is not equal, what I am going to see is what I am going to do is again, again, I'll bring out. So that means I'll check whether s is less than a of mid or s is greater than a of mid. Which is equal. So if this is s is less than mid, that means what is the s is less than mid? Uh, the the what is the searching element I want to find? It is less than middle element. Less than middle element. That means I'm going to search. Which are, if this is the middle. If this is the middle element, I should search for which side. Now what is the element I want to find is less than the mid. And it is less than the forty. Less than the forty. I should search for left side or I should search for right side. I should search for Left side. I should search for left side. So if the s is the less than the mid, that means I want which element I want to find. That element is less than the mid. Again, I I have to search for the left side. So what I what I'll do is in the searching I'll bring out this high value to the mid. High value to the mid mid minus one. So what is this here? I'll place this here. This is high. so bring out this high value here. Now high value change to High value change it to this. So now high value change it to this side. So now this I'll I'll take out only the list only between this, and then I'm going to search the element only between these elements because, however, I know I've compared with this middle element. What is the element I want to find with this middle element? And so that middle element, what is the element I want to search is less than the middle element. Therefore, I should search only the elements are less than the middle element. Therefore, what I'll do is I'll bring out the high value here. I'll make high value here, and I'll search only this side. Again, I'll divide. Again, I'll logic. I'll apply the same logic. High plus low by two. Recursively, I'll apply high plus low by two, and which element to be there. So next, I'll find out zero plus two by two. So what is the middle element now? Two. So again, now it is the middle element. Again, I'll search. I'll compare the middle. S equal to equal to a of mid. Is that equal? No, if it is equal, I'll say okay. I found the element. No, it is not equal. If it is less than the element, I'll search only this side. If it is greater than the element, I'll search this side. This is the thing I'm going to do recursively. But, but this is the case I've told you in the. Ah, uh, okay. Where the element is less than the mid. If the element is greater than the mid, what I'll do? The element is greater than the mid. I'll bring out the low value here because the low value from here. Because however, I compare this with the, this element. It is greater than the element, so I have to search for this element. Yes, in the next this element because I know. So I 
I'll check you with this comparison. In this comparison, I know that okay, the searching element I want is greater than the middle element. Therefore, the element which I want to find, which is greater than the uh, greater than the middle element, where the elements will be there in the next this block. So what I'll do, I'll bring out. I'm not bringing out zero here. I'm bringing out the low value to here, and I'll I'll indicate I'll indicate the four as a low value. Now, what is that? Again, four plus six by two. Again, I'll check with the mid value, which is the mid mid mid, mid element. So four plus six by two, ten by two is five, which is the index now. So middle element index. This is the middle element index. Now s equal to equal to y of mid. Y of mid. Therefore, sixty equal to equal to sixty. Therefore, I found the element which position mid position. I'll print the mid position. This thing I'm going to I'm going to have a recursively. I'm going to have a recursively. Go to check recursively. Every time I'm going to check recursively. So if if the next time if the next this I'm going to go for this side again I'm going to divide this low by high if it's not found this is this is the middle element I want so if I want to find the seventy if I want to find the seventy what I'm going to do I'm going to find the seventy for example in this case again I'll divide I'll I'll divide the middle element is sixty middle element is this one five five so now the which element is I'll compare this seventy is equal to equal to Uh, 60. Sorry, 70 equal to equal to 60 is not equal. So where is again it will be greater than? What happened? What is the disturbance? Okay, so 70 is greater than 60. I'll go again to the which is which side this side. So again I'll 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 check for this only this element. If I'm going to check for this element now, high is here and the low is same. 6 plus 6 by 2. 6 plus 6 by 2. What is 6 plus 6 by 2? Again, it is six. The middle element is this, and low is this, and high is this. Same, both are same. Three elements are same. Now I'll compare seventy equal to equal to seventy. Is that equal? S yes. is that equal? So I'll print the mid value. And then the end. So now how many comparisons I need? Tell me what is how many comparisons I need? How many comparisons I need? If I want to find seventy, how many comparisons I've done here? One and two. And three comparisons in the sequential search. If I want to find seventy, how many how many uh, comparisons? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. After seven comparisons, after seven successful compa seven comparisons, seven comparisons, I'll I'll get seventy. And here I'm comparing only three times. In the three comparisons, I'm getting what is the value I want. So how many how much time it is less than the uh, given uh, sequential search? So very, 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 uh, very like far better, far better than the linear search. And remember, the linear search will search for if at all if I want the element which should be the last element, I'll compare n times. I'll compare n times. And if this uh, 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 binary search will compare log n times, where which is n is which is which is a lowest one, the log n is the lowest one. Therefore. The log n comparisons we need. The the time we say this time complexity. So searching element and then the comparisons, number of comparisons, how many times the number of uh, that should be repeated. That is called as time. How much time it is taking is called as time complexity. Where the time complexity of this is very binary search is very less than the sequential search. Therefore, which is the better searching um, technique? Binary search is a better searching technique. Better searching technique compared to linear search. But but there are a thousand elements, and in this element, the first element itself, we want the element which element to be find is a sequential search, which is the best sequential search is the best, because because here we have a seven seven elements. I want to find ten. How many how many times I I'll compare I'll compare here, and after that I'll compare here and I'll compare three comparisons I need. But in the sequential search, how many comparisons I need? Only one comparison. Where until the there are that we have some uh, advantages disadvantages but comparing it to uh, linear search binary search is very good algorithm very good uh, searching technique technique which but if you want to find the element which is to be there are many elements and we have we have to find element which is to be middle element or some other element where it is far better algorithm than a sequential search algorithm okay so I'll write this code and I'll explain each and everything. Before that, 
before that i'm going to play a two videos so which will be useful for you so i've already explained the logic but before uh, everything i'll i'll i have uh, collected one very good uh, algorithms uh, the animation video so check that animation video here i want to find the element 70 so this is a linear search the sequence search the uh, so the there are elements are 5 2 3 4 7 17 21 71 10 12 14 and 31 so i want to find the 17 71 so how it is going to do the sequential search this is a linear search how it is going to do. okay this is how a sequential search will be done. so i have another video sequential search so here in this in this uh, sequential search what is the target element so 57 is the target element and these are the elements of uh, r so how it is going to be simple each and every i'm going to compare 57 element with 11 and now i incremented the index value to a of 1 so comparing a of 1 with the 57 next a of 2 with the 57 data are not found as a of 2 is 9 element is found at a of 4 this 57 so see here, this is the binary search the last one
the same question uh, gurudat he asked the same question is that right yes sir so now we are going to go for only uh, integer division so integer division means we are going to uh, exclude the uh, decimal part so only the integer division part so we are going to take that uh, value as a mid value and we are going to compare that mid middle element uh, we are going to make that as a middle element and we are going to compare that element with the middle uh, what is the searching element with that middle element चले टेन टू टेन टू टेन आई टेन टू टेन स्टार्ट जैसे हैं नाइन टू हाँ okay so that is about some uh, simple algorithm like uh, animation uh, video i have a doubt ha uh, chapan 
సార్ ఇప్పుడు లీనియర్ సెట్స్ లో అయినా బైనరీ సెట్స్ లో అయినా ఒకే ఎలిమెన్ టూ టైమ్స్ రిపీట్ అయితే ఎట్లా సార్ మరి ఇప్పుడు అదే అదే ఎలిమెంట్ ని సెర్చ్ చేయాలంటే అదే ఎలిమెంట్ టూ టైమ్స్ రిపీట్ అయినా సెర్చ్ అదే ఎలిమెంట్ సెర్చ్ చేయాలంటే ఫస్ట్ ఇప్పుడు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇది సార్టెడ్ ఆర్డర్ లో ఇందులో అయితే అవెవర్ ద ఎలిమెంట్స్ విల్ బి ఇన్ ద సార్టెడ్ ఆర్డర్ అవునా కదా ద ఫస్ట్ అకరెన్స్ మనకు ఫస్ట్ అకరెన్స్ వస్తుంది ద ఫస్ట్ అకరెన్స్ ఎవ్రీ టైమ్ ద ఫస్ట్ అకరెన్స్ యూ టెల్ ద ఎలిమెంట్ ఇస్ రిపీటెడ్ మల్టిపుల్ టైమ్స్ ద ఫస్ట్ అకరెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద పర్టిక్యులర్ ఎలిమెంట్ విల్ బి మిడిల్ కి క్లోజర్ అకరెన్స్ ఫస్ట్ వస్తుంది కదా ఫస్ట్ వస్తుంది అంటే లీనియర్ సెర్చ్ లో అయితే ఫస్ట్ అకరెన్స్ వస్తుంది లీనియర్ సెర్చ్ లో అయితే ఫస్ట్ అకరెన్స్ వస్తుంది రిపీటెడ్ ఎలిమెంట్ ఎందుకంటే దట్ దట్ మే బి దట్ మే బి ఇన్ ద ఎనీ ఆర్డర్ ఆర్ సీక్వెన్షియల్ ఆర్డర్ లో ఉండాలని రూల్ ఏం లేదు బట్ ఇక్కడ Uh, in the binary search the first occurrence where the middle element near to the middle element which element you found as a middle element that will be getting as an output adi ante okay element two times unnattu chupinchadi kada sir edaina edi first compiler ki kan ah yes yes ante edi first kan adi ante okay edi first sir chupna సార్ ఒకవేళ మిడిల్ ఎలిమెంట్ కి రెండు సేమ్ సైడ్స్ లో ఆపోజిట్ లో ఉంటాయి సార్ అంటే ఇట్ సైడ్ లెఫ్ట్ ఒకటి రైట్ ఒకటి సేమ్ డిస్టెన్స్ లో అర్థం కాదు మిడిల్ ఎలిమెంట్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ మిడిల్ ఎలిమెంట్ ఫార్టీ దానికి ఇప్పుడు ఫార్టీ తీసుకోండి సార్ ఇప్పుడు ఇప్పుడు సిక్స్టీ ఫిఫ్త్ పొజిషన్ లో అవును అలాగే ట్వంటీ లాజిక్ అండ్ ఫోర్ ఈచ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ స్టెప్ ప్లీజ్ అబ్జర్వ్ కేర్ఫుల్ Mm, recursive logic correct 5 by 2 kaadu 5 minus 5 by 2 enduku vastadi okay so now uh, here these are the my uh, array values they have 0 they have 1 they have 2 they have 3 and they have 4 they have 5 they have 6 and the index values are 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so what i'm doing is i'm taking a uh, three variables extra three variables high uh, low and a mid so i'll initialize high value to be n minus 1 because so where where n is the size of the uh, here size of array uh, where high value will be this is the high value the last index is the high value the last index and the first index is the low value now i'll initialize the low equal to 0 okay and now uh what is i'm i'm going to find the middle element mid equal to mid equal to low plus i by 2 and i'm going to find the uh, that is like uh, what to say integer division integer division means like i'm going to take the integer division but a odd number or even number so i'm going to get only the uh, e, uh, integer part so if it is odd odd division for example there is 7 by 2 i'm going to get if at all 7 by 2 is 3.5 i'm taking a third value that is third index value as a middle element third index value as a middle element i'm not i'm, I'm discarding the uh, divis decimal part i'm going to taking only integer part and now in this case what is this mid mid value so mid value is equal to 0 plus uh, 6 by 2 now it is 3 mid value is 3 and it is 3 and i'm going to take uh, yeah this is array is a name array of name is a so what i'm going to check for example if i'm going to check for the uh, element 60 element 60 so s where is s is the 60 now 
take s equal to what is 60 i value so now this is the logic and what i'm what i'm doing here first i'll check the condition after finding a mid element i'm checking a condition if uh, mid sorry a of mid equal to equal to the s what is the s element you found if i found it is equal so i'll say i found and I'll, I'll 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 get out of the block but if it is not if it is not what happens whether it is less than or greater than check chale adi kaad if it is not i should go for else if i should check the condition else if else if and whether it is less than or greater than so if it is a uh, middle element what is the middle element here 40 is the middle element i'm going to compare now what is this 40 equal to equal to 60 is it equal no it is not equal it goes to the next step and here i am writing a of mid is less than or else you can write in the normal way or illa uh, kuda write s value low comparison illa kaakunda you can compare as s value so manam s ane anukunnam kabatti what is the value s equal to equal to a of mid and if s is greater than s is greater than a of mid half mid so if it's s is the greater than half mid what is this like um now 40 uh, sorry 60 is greater than what is 40 yes it is true if it is true what i'm what i'm uh, tr uh, trying to do so i'm going to bring out this low value to here and that means i'm going to change low value to here because i'll i'll only check in this part i'm not going to check in this second uh, the e part of e part of check chairs now so less because i know the element is greater than if the element is uh, what is the element i want i should go only check in the next second part i should not go and checking this first part then in the nowhere uh, important so therefore i'm changing low to here with low to here and then this is the fourth index how to change fourth index and then here i'm changing low equal to so mid what is the mid value three mid plus one that and else what is else that means if this is not greater so i want to find the element which is to be 20 so which is less than the 40 less than the 40 else and together so now i'm going to bring out this high value to here yes here and go the element which is i will find which i want to find which is less than obviously which is less than 40 i should find only in this part okay only in this part therefore i should bring out the high value to here so high value to make this as a high value then high value chair to make high value to be this this what i have to change mid minus one so which i have to change high value I have to change high value and that should be high equal to mid minus one and the repeat the same thing until unless i'll find so to repeat this to repeat this i should write in the while loop but where i should stop this condition the both are that means first in, the, in this case if i want to find the 70 where the high value is the same thing and low value is the same thing and mid value is the same thing so i'm going behind again the element is not found going behind again where low is greater than or equal to high greater than or equal to high so where high will go this side and high low will go this side and high will go this side or else in this case also so low is here and high is bought here i bought here and again i'll bring here again i'll bring here so low will become ultimately less than the the high will become low, ultimately less than the high in this case i'm going to stop this that means i have find out i have checked all the elements i not I'm not getting that value to be found so here what i'll do so if I, the element is found i say print if element is found at location that is position which position which position i'll find mid if the element i which is found for example 40 is the element I want to find. I have divided into 40. Or else, what is, I, I'll explain each and each step. First, I think in logic, element is to be found is at the location bid plus one. The percentility is bid plus one. And if I find the element, should I should I uh, be in the in this uh, loop? I should not be in the loop. I should break out. So therefore, break. Break. Or else, so, sorry, uh, here every time, less than a high so 
after that after completing this loop i have to check whether the element is not found therefore if low is greater than or equal to high i'm going to say printf element is not found this is the logic i'm going to so this how i did how did i write this so by using this so i'll write this, as it is a code this is a normal uh, general way i'm not writing the recursive way i can write on the recursive way also so i'll write the code and i'll explain each and every step how it is how it is going okay but uh, for time being now there is no time so for time being i'm writing only the code so just logic of the code so then mundu mirantar askondi 0 5 and mid equal to low plus pi by 2 i'll explain detail in the next class and uh, where i'll write while check the condition while low should be always less than or equal to high in this case i'm going to repeat the loop and i'll check first if a of mid is equal to equal to so alaga akunde ila rasta s equal to equal to a of mid you try out yourself so what sorry trace out the logic and whether it is working or not and This is a logic. So trace out yourself. Once you trace out yourself, and I'll explain detail in the next class also. Okay, we'll try chain, trace out chain. This is a normal just uh, just writing of uh, normal way of writing a program. But I'll explain the recursive also. So to explain the recursive, I should tell you how to pass the array to function. Okay, seventy uh, one. Response your rule number seventy one. Present sir. Seventy two. Present sir. Seventy three. Seventy four. Seventy four. Present sir. Present. Seventy five. Present sir. Fast, fast. Be fast. Be quick. Who is responded? You can leave. Seventy five. Seventy five. 75 present sir 76 present sir 77 present sir 78 present sir 79 present sir 80 present sir 81 82 82 83 Present, 80, 83. Present, sir. Loud, be loud, ma. 84. Present, sir. 85. Present, sir. 86. Present, sir. 87. Present, sir. 88. Present, sir. 89. Present, sir. 
సెగ్మెంటేషన్ ఫాల్ట్ ఓకే కెన్ యూ కెన్ యూ షేర్ యూర్ స్క్రీన్ మిగతా వాళ్ళు వెళ్ళిపోవచ్చు సార్ అనదర్ క్లాస్ వి హావ్ ఐల్ సెండ్ ద కోడ్ ఇన్ వాట్సాప్ ఓకే సార్ ఇంకొక కోడ్ లో ఏ s equals to equals to a of mid ra sir kada andlo print of statement lo mid plus 1 ra sir person type d sir mid kada adi పొజిషన్ అయితే ఇప్పుడు మిడ్ వైల్ మనం ఇక్కడ ఏం చేస్తున్నాం వీఆర్ డూయింగ్ ఇన్ దన్ మినిట్ ఇక్కడ ఏం చేస్తున్నాం వీఆర్ స్టార్టింగ్ విత్ ఇండెక్స్ జీరో అండ్ మిడ్ ఈస్ టేకింగ్ ఇండెక్స్ వాల్యూ ఓన్లీ దట్ మీన్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ టేకింగ్ ఇండెక్స్ వాల్యూ బట్ వీ నీడ్ పొజిషన్ protection of the if i want to position so it is mid plus 1 if you want to need index it is mid you can print to mid also like if you saying the uh, the uh, where the element is found in the uh, index you say it is mid it is position it is mid plus 1 uh, if you see here uh, got it sir thank you the state of being secure and free from danger are not the actions taken to make someone or some something secure okay 